Keyboarding, Lesson 30, Word Drills. First thing we're going to do is change the page orientation to landscape. Click the tab layout, choose orientation. It's currently at portrait, and then you can tell by the box around portrait, and we'll select landscape. On the last line of the document, press enter and type 30 dash drill one. Check your work and continue. Down at the bottom what you just typed, write a line by clicking the paragraph group, align right. Key the following two sentences. Make sure you press enter after box, otherwise it's word wraparound. Double click carefully, choose cut, and we want it after packing, and so I'm clicking before the B and before, but instead of just a clipboard paste, you wanna choose special paste features, and you want the one that says merge formatting. So it merges it with the same formatting. Double clicked enclosed in the second paragraph, choose cut, and paste it before packing, and again, this time under special, choose text only, keep text only. Copy the entire second sentence, choose copy, and then put it immediately below, and we can use the standard paste. At the end of the document, Enter and key this current document again using Word Wraparound. Put the show hide on so you see the paragraph markers. You'll start this one by entering three times and make sure you use your scroll down to select to type everything that you see here. The, the paragraphs are using the Word Wraparound. Only press Enter when you see the paragraph marker. For executive compensation, you have a, uh, it's actually two hyphens with no space before or after. And after you type the word A and spacebar, it changes those two separate hyphens to one solid M dash. Just don't have any spaces and it will look like two broken hyphens, but when you get to the next break in a words, it'll make it solid. Select the title and change the font size to 14. The same thing, the title, change the font type to Arial. And then we'll bold the title. And center, you don't have to select it to center, just click center in the paragraph group. Use the Format Painter to copy what you did on the title to the second line. So you can point and select, click Format Painter, and then just hold and drag across on the second line so it matches the same formatting. Click anywhere in, um, triple click anywhere in the, in the first paragraph to select all of it, and we'll change the size, well, yeah, the format, the paragraph below subtitle to 12. Justify the paragraph below it. You do not have to select it, and it'll make it even. So we changed this to, um, to size 12 and, and Times New Roman, but the paragraphs below it are both Calibri 11. So triple click this paragraph that has the, one, the formatting that you want. Double click the Format Painter. And that way you can paint the first paragraph to match and then the second. And normally you would have to turn the Format Painter off. If you just click Format Painter once, you're only allowed to one copy. Where if you double click it, you're um, able to multi-copy. So the paragraph below the subtitle, triple click and change it to Times New Roman. At the beginning, you have three hard returns. You put the show hide on. Um, it's not letting us do it, but you could see the three markers there. So what you would do um, is just press delete three times. 
I wanted to show you what you were deleting, but they wouldn't allow us. In the document, control end, press enter, 30 dash drill four, check your work, continue. Write a line, so click anywhere on that. You can use your control R and that will right align it. And the last one is to center the page vertically. So it's in the tab layout, page setup dialog box launcher. Click the layout tab for vertical alignment, change it from top to center and okay. Thank you.